Hey guys, Adam here from DirectionTrader.com. Today's daily recap is going to be fairly quick. We just had uh, two different instruments we were trading. We ended up trading the crude for a majority of the morning and then right before the lunchtime uh, session, uh, ended up taking a gold position. So three positions here in the crude market and one in gold. You're going to notice we had pre-market analysis. We were talking about this channel right here and how the market was slowly starting to chop its way back down to it. Now during the morning session I was able to draw another trend line here but it was failed, it was micro, uh, they pretty well disregarded it right out of the gate. But So we were looking to trade back down to retest this rising support of this channel and then bounce before we wanted to do anything. So that's what we were talking about in the pre-market and that's what we did. The market came down sold off we were in a downward trend and right in this area I was looking to short and get the possible opportunity to trade back down to this previous low rising rising support here what had happened was sold it once got plus 10 drug my stop down to a break even end up getting stopped out for zero and then the dollar started to slowly dollar down here at the time it started to slowly cr start creeping its way up so sure enough I took a second chance same entry tried shorting it one more time got a plus eight didn't move it down I was tightening it up end up getting a minus five on it the dollar just did not push up like we were hoping we were hoping the dollar to push up push the crude market down and eventually retest the rising support we were hoping Sure enough, then we started to create some type of channel here. This is an image of today, so I'm not able to blow it up or change it. But basically, we had this micro ch uh, channel coming down. We came up, retested it, and then we're like, all right, this may be it. So we got one more push down. We were looking to take a short. We shorted one more time, guys. We got a plus nine out of it because we started trailing. After 10 ticks, we started trailing trailing down and then bam got stopped out which is our trailing stop out um, which is you know obviously better than getting a full stop out but anyways we end up getting a plus nine on that position to make it a plus four on the crude and this market just didn't want to sell off for us guys it just didn't want to sell off so it started chopping sideways I said I'm probably done for the crude today it's just not acting like I wanted it to you know it didn't sell off whenever I wanted to I gave it three good chances never happened guys and I took this image about quarter after 8 and it wasn't 830 this market tanked and sold right off retesting the lows actually retested even further down so it's just like my video from yesterday I called it being right at the wrong time <laughs> it's just the same thing today it's part of trading so I mean I'm not gonna sweat over it I'm just gonna move on but that's what we went through today. We went through some tough times. Um, we were we were right in our analysis. We just couldn't get the timing right. So that stuff happens in trading. So I mean, I'm not gonna sweat it. We'll move on. And I'm just grateful that we were able to, you know, capture something. You know, at least cover some commissions and maybe put a couple bucks in our pocket. Maybe buy lunch. So <laughs> that's it for the crude market. We'll go towards gold here. In the gold market, we took one position. What had happened was in pre-market I said I'm not really going to be interested in gold unless we can break these highs or break these lows. I don't like trading in chop guys. I tend to be a little bit more of a trend trader so I want to see it break out and then I'll buy retracements or sell, or I'll sell retracements or buy pullbacks all the way. So what had happened was it broke out, it broke out and then on the pullback we had very good support which happened to come exactly at this level here same thing good support all the way across there that support came all the way across there we had rising momentum here we were trending up so we had very good support good support and what I noticed here when we actually entered right here's our entry we got plus 12 on it because we trailed up what had happened was we came back and tested here I didn't take this first test I was like well this is pretty strong but we're not getting any any conviction here any any support so we weren't getting anything that we wanted so right here I was like well hold on we we're waiting for the dollar to sell off didn't happen at first and then we started getting some dollar to sell off here right when we want to go long so I noticed we had we had a low and a low right here 
Down here below, we had a low and a much higher low. Right here, we had a high, lower high, equal low. Down here, we had a high, a much higher high. So we had extreme divergence as a momentum indicator versus the price. So we were looking to go long here. This was an ideal situation. We had equal lows, higher low in momentum. That's a great long opportunity as the dollar was starting to sell off down here. So things were looking good. We were very confident in this position, basically to trade to the moon. Sure enough, just like everything else, we got our plus 10. We started to move our stop up to break even after plus 10. And then uh, we trailed up slowly behind each bar, ended up getting a trail stop for plus 12. So all in all, it, I mean, it wasn't a bad day, guys. It was just one of them days that we just, we grinded it out. We were able to make some money, but we had to grind it out. It wasn't, it didn't come easy to us, so. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the analysis. I will be here uh, in the live trading room Monday through Thursday uh, for three hours every morning, and I'm always available for extra time for one-on-one -on -one training if you'd like. So if you guys are interested, stop by directiontrader.com and take a free trial, and, uh, or take a live trial in the live trading room. So I will see you guys there.